Hey guys, this is Nick here with Idiot Big Gamer, and um, I'm going to show you how to marry Lydia, your house Carl, on Skyrim on the PC. Um, so first of all, you're going to you're going to need to know how to marry somebody in general in Skyrim. So you're you're going to want to go to Riften, and in Riften you want to go to the place called the Bee and Barb. And here you're going to want to talk to uh, I think like a priest or a mage, and his name's going to be Mar Maramal Ma Maramal, yeah. Anyway, so he'll he'll basically tell you all about the custom of marriage in Skyrim. He'll give you the option to buy the amulet of um, the amulet of Mara, which he'll do. Uh, once you buy that, you're gonna go to Lydia and do exactly what I t what I'm about to tell you, and then go back to this guy. He'll tell you that your wedding your wedding is arranged. You'll go to the temple, which is also in Riften, and then you'll get married with Lydia. Um, if she tries to run away, then uh, just talk to her and she'll come back. Um, yeah. <laughs> So, um, now, uh, you're gonna wanna go, now I'm gonna do, I'll show you how to exactly marry her. How to get her interested in you while wearing the amulet of, uh, Mara. Uh, make sure that you do actually need to be wearing the amulet of Mara, because, um, that's, like I said, that's, that's just the custom of marriage in Skyrim. So, um, blah, 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 you're gonna wait for the loading screen. So, um, you're gonna wanna go to, um, your home in, uh, Whiterun, if you have one, if you're not that far. In, uh, in the quest, main quest, and I guess she'll be um, at the Dragon's Reach. But um, as you can see here, she's doing wifely duties. I but, <laughs> but I get kind of scared here because, uh, as you can see, I don't know why she, uh, Adriana is here in my house. Kind of freaked me out. Um, <laughs> this is kind of weird. <laughs> anyway, um, immediately here you see that she's doing, uh, she's doing just like wifey tasks that um, normal wives do in Skyrim, I guess. Uh, she's cooking, um, and then, uh, Goodbye, you know, that's really cool, and then she also responds and says, you know, my love and stuff, which is really kind of cool. But anyway, to do this, to get her to be interested in you, you want to open up the, um, the console, and then you're going to want to press, uh, click on her while you're doing that, and then type in add to faction 1909 space 1, and then press enter, and then when you talk to her, it'll give you the option to marry her. She'll say, you know, you'll say, you're interested in me. You're interested in me, aren't you? And she'll say yes, and then boom, it happens. Um, a lot of cool stuff about her when she's married is that, you know, she has uh, her own little store. Um, and she'll give you money. She'll give you a little bit of that money. And then, um, you know, you have the option to move. Um, I haven't been to her old place yet, though, so that's something I kind of want to check out. Um, a cool thing about her, though, is that, like, um, oh, as you can see here, yeah, uh, you can't ask her for her food, and she'll give you cooked food. And a cool thing about um, having Lydia as your wife is that she has kind of um, the same uh, inventory, if you really want to see. So um, I kind of messed up a little bit, so bear with me here. Um, so you can you can buy stuff from her, uh, like Orcish Warhammers, and as you can see, a whole, a whole bunch of sort of stuff. You can buy um, apparel and potions, a lot of cool things. And if you're uh, a little bit resourceful, I'm sure you can actually work out the little... Um, uh, uh, Oblivion books thing I showed you in the last video, how to get like money fast. I'm sure you could do that with her too, because you know she is a vendor. But as you can, as you can see, um, when you ask her to follow you, um, things get it's a little different. So she'll obviously stop whatever she's doing and uh, follow you. And her inventory with her store and the inventory that she has when she's following you for questing and stuff like that. They're kind of the same, but they're kind of not. Right so if you ask her um, uh, that you want to trade things with her, all she'll That's have is what you give her, purpose. and additionally the bond, uh, the or the band of matrimony, uh, because that's what you or the bond because that's what you got when you married her, or that's what she received. Um, if you give her something, as you can see, I'm going to give her um, a potion of lock picking. She'll be holding that. Um, oh. And here, yeah, I just yeah. messed up. Sorry, so bear with me. But she'll be holding something. So if you ask to trade again, you're just to, to make sure she is holding that potion of lockpicking. Now, if you're asking her what she has for sale, um, if you ask her what she has for sale, she's going to have what you gave her available for sale, which is something that is interesting. Um, you know, uh, I guess that's what happens. I guess you could buy it back if you wanted to. <laughs> but she also does have that, whatever else you gave her. As you can see, I gave her the elven helmet. Anyway, guys, um, that was how you marry uh, Lydia, <laughs> your house Carl, on Skyrim, um, on the PC. Um, this is this has been Nick with 88 Big Gamer. Um, if you have any requests, please do request them, and um, 
make sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and um, I will see you guys.